Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. My name is Dr. Nitin Shora and welcome to our channel. Folks, I'm going to cover two important things in this episode of Ignition Time and welcome to another episode of the DC Comedy Hour. Yes, folks, this is another episode of the DC Comedy Hour with uh, some pretty incredible comments. I would go so far as to say some nonsensical comments. Let's start with Mitt Romney, the senator from Utah. who actually referred to president biden's presidency as i quote the seinfeld presidency a presidency about nothing mitt romney is criticizing president biden's handling of the entire 3.5 trillion dollar stimulus plan which by the way is going to end up being well under 2 trillion dollars and again he called president biden's presidency as the seinfeld presidency a presidency about nothing wow let's roll the tape and hear from mitt romney let's watch that i watched this going on and it's like um it's like the seinfeld presidency it's a presidency about nothing i mean what what is this what's going on here with this negotiation they're fussing around and stuff where it's really hard to tell where they're trying to go now let's shift gears to senator bernie sanders the independent from vermont now as you know bernie sanders wants a large bill wants a large 3.5 trillion dollar stimulus bill which is basically not going to happen but he did emphasize what he wants to focus on and he wants to focus on lowering the cost of prescription drugs specifically for seniors who cannot afford prescription drugs in our country folks i am a healthcare professional myself i'm a licensed physical therapist and i can tell you that it is absolutely tragic that in the united states of america there are millions of seniors who cannot afford prescription drugs because they're too expensive because the pharmaceutical industry makes money hand over fist now this is one of the things that bernie sanders is pushing for within the package the reconciliation package and he basically said this is non negotiable let's roll the tape and hear comments from the one and only senator bernie sanders as he essentially engages in an all out battle with the conservative democrat from west virginia joe manchin and senator kristen cinema who by the way is now starting to be amenable to the biden agenda let's roll the tape and hear what senator bernie sanders the independent from vermont had to say about the importance of affordable prescription drugs specifically for our seniors let's roll the tape and watch if you ask the american people today what is most important to them they're going to say two things number one they're sick and tired of being ripped off by the pharmaceutical industry they think that it's insane that in some cases we pay 10 times more for the same drug as the people in other countries while last year the pharmaceutical industry made 50 billion dollars in profit and right now has 1500 paid lobbyists here in Washington to make sure we don't lower the cost of the prescription drugs so to my mind any serious reconciliation bill must include real medicare negotiations with the pharmaceutical industry to lower the cost of the prescription drugs That's probably the issue most on people's minds. Maybe the issue second most on people's minds is the understanding that it is really insane that in the wealthiest country in the history of the world we have tens of millions of Americans, older Americans who have no teeth in their mouth, who are unable to digest the food that they're eating, people who cannot hear and communicate with their grandkids because they have no hearing aids, people are unable to see. Well, this is America. which is country in the history of the world bottom line is that any reconciliation bill must include serious negotiations on the part of medicare with the pharmaceutical industry lower the cost of the prescription drugs that's what the american people want any serious reconciliation bill must include expanding medicare to cover dental hearing aids and eye glasses so folks that was it another episode of the dc comedy hour let me know what you thought of this pretty incredible comment from from mitt romney the senator from utah who essentially called president biden's presidency the seinfeld presidency and let me know what you think of bernie sanders comments about the the cost of prescription drugs and in fact i have a question for you is the high cost of prescription drugs affecting you and your day to day life do you know someone is it a parent is it a senior is it someone in your family who is unable to afford prescription drugs because of the high cost of prescription drugs despite having insurance well folks i can tell you this the pharmaceutical industry makes billions of dollars in our country and all the money all the money that allows the pharmaceutical companies to be profitable specifically 
with the distribution of the vaccines that are now you know what what everyone talks about the the pharmaceutical companies make billions and billions hundreds of billions of dollars let me know whether the pharmaceutical company should in some way shape or form be regulated which is what bernie sanders is, is attempting to do because at the end of the day if prescription drugs are expensive and if insurance companies have to pay for them guess what the insurance company is going to do the insurance company is going to turn around and raise your own rates so that is exactly what happens everyone we live in a capitalist country we live in an economy that is driven by capitalism the problem however is that when the rich get richer when the pharmaceutical companies make money hand over fist when these insurance companies make money hand over fist that means the poor get left behind and that is the tragic part of our american economy let me know what you think in the comment section below specifically of bernie sanders initiative of trying to lower the cost of prescription drugs and specifically let me know what you think of comments from mitt romney the republican senator from utah referring to president biden's presidency as i quote the seinfeld presidency i mean i couldn't help but laugh when i heard that uh, let me know what you think about what's going on everyone again my name is dr nitin chora with ignition time this right here is a little bit of information about me you learn more about who i am what my journey has been like and why you should listen to me and also also please follow me on twitter my twitter handle is ignition underscore time that's ignition underscore time make sure that you follow me on twitter once again everyone thank you so much for watching i've been giving you the latest news and and i've been giving you the truth wherever the truth might lead us since the beginning of this pandemic and i'll continue to do so me and my team work hard on this channel every single day seven days a week and the way you can reward us is by simply clicking the like button by clicking subscribe and and if you're not a member of our community yet please please enable notifications thank you so much for watching i appreciate you i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of ignition time take care bye